Hey, good Wednesday morning, everybody. It's December 6th. It's the Feast of St. Nicholas, the original Santa Claus uh, and a theologian in early church. So happy St. Nick's Day and happy uh, Feast Day to all the Nicholases out there. And I think there's a tradition, too, where on St. Nicholas Day, you put out your shoes outside your door and nice little things are supposed to be put in there. But anyway, uh, I remember this day fondly because my grandfather... Uh, one of my grandfathers whose name was Nicholas and actually uh, tomorrow uh, is anniversary of his death he died in 1981 but that's all here so anyway our gospel today is from Matthew 15 verses 29 through 37 and it's a scene I'm, I'm just thinking of this so it says Jesus goes up in a mountain and in Matthew's gospel whenever Jesus goes to the mountain it's a it's a God event meaning God's coming forth because it's it's a book in the Old Testament uh, so like when Moses went up to the mountain, he got the law. Whenever Jesus goes up to the mountain, it's about God. And it says Jesus then cured all these people. And then he also fed all these people. And it's just telling me, uh, telling me that, you know, God is, God wants to give. And God is overabundant uh, in his gifts. That God, <laughs> he, he can't, once you turn the spigot on, you can't turn it off. It's just going to come, 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 come. Curing all these people, giving all this food with leftovers given to us. And I think I need to hear that message. I need to remind myself that message that God gives and wants to give. And God will provide this morning. I just, yeah. now don't get all worried because last time I kind of mentioned this, I got all these kind of, you know, you just get tired after a bit. And, uh, and I'm thinking of, you know, a lot of stuff going on uh, at, at my work the, uh, at the Chancery Office. And, you know, a lot of requirements, a lot of needs. I'm like, oh my gosh, how are we going to do this? And how am I going to get this done? And, uh, oh, we need to do this. And we need this personnel. We need this money. And uh, so it's it's kind of wearing down. And then I'm like, okay, here's your message, Bob. God will provide. <laughs> will I go up to that mountain and, and open myself to that, I guess, is the challenge for me. Am I open to letting God run because probably part of my fatigue that I'm feeling right now, um, not just because it's Wednesday, is, uh, you know, I think we all get in this. We try to control everything. And, you know, my control issues again. And um, we burn ourselves out. We run ourselves ragged trying to control the whole world and everything in it. And I think maybe I'm slipping a little bit into that. And so this is a good gospel to remind me, okay, God, open to God, follow God's way, and do what God needs us to do, you know, be generous, look for the generous people, be generous, be compassionate, be merciful, all that, those good virtues, and things can be accomplished, the right things need to be accomplished, because sometimes I think we try to control things we have no control over, and we're not working on the right things that we need to, or I do anyway, so maybe you guys are different. But that's that's my challenge for this morning, so, so yeah, I'm okay, I'm just a little bit pensive, okay? All right, guys. Hey, enjoy the day. Stay warm and uh, be good. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.